Welcome back to Latino TV. Now, the rite of passage for anyone who gets knocked down is usually rooted in someone marching to the beat of their own drum. But Fortuna, Latin jazz legend and father Pete Escobedo has always been behind drummer Sheila E. desde su comienzo en la música pop en los ochentas. Check it out. Sheila E. may be the most well-known member of her musical family, but despite all the glitz and glamour that came with being Prince's protege back in the 80s, for Sheila, her legendary father, Pete Escobedo, was always the one and only musical royalty in her life. When he walks into a room, everybody pays attention because of his personality, his heart, and who he is as a man, and what he represents as a musician with his music. And for us to be able to play with him, he's the icing on the cake. He is our, our uh, secret weapon. <laughs> Nobody has pops. <laughs> we kind of grew up in this industry, so there's times where when we were younger, pops would walk us in the backstage and go, come here, I want you to meet Stevie Wonder. You know, we were just, we didn't know the difference. It was just another guy we were meeting. And I didn't really encourage them because you know, I didn't want them actually to go through all the ups and downs of the music business. It's a hard life. It's just, you know, it's so unpredictable. And especially for her. It ain't much. With his protective nature intact, even Pops wouldn't have guessed that his daughter would turn out to be the most famous female drummer of all time. But it wasn't until Sheila E. asked her brothers for help that they decided to transition their passion for music from hobby to livelihood. I had an 8 to 5, and Sheila called us, and she said, well, I have to do a video. I don't have a band, because I believe her and Prince played on Glamorous Life, everything. So we went down there and did the video, and then I go back to work, and I'm seeing the video on the MTV. I'm <laughs> like... I'm like, what am I doing here? I should be playing. <laughs> it ain't much. With each sibling turning out to acquire their own unique creative energy, the biggest challenges that prevented the family to join forces brought out some issues that are not that unfamiliar to any group of siblings working together. All these years in our career, we had never written together. It was a little awkward at first because we all have different tastes. Sheila tries to have the last say, very demanding. Everything she says, <laughs> she thinks she's right. And she's she's the oldest, unfortunately, so. Unfortunately. She really thinks she has the upper hand of, of, yes. of what goes on. And it's it's so not true, it's ridiculous. <laughs> now my brother, he thinks he's, he knows everything about everything. <laughs> Maybe Pops can settle this. They all play their way, I play my way. Fortunately, any serious or yes, humorous yes, family beauty yes, was overshadowed when the E family new produced new a new joint sound joint. in their first joint. joint venture, now and forever. Mixing that r &B with that cha-cha flavor. The E family is different because we've never done this before. The music is different. It's more edgy. It's got, it's like a big pot of gumbo, we always say, because it's got Latin, it's got pop, R&B, hip hop. I got your photograph in the Faja. In the back, there's a trunk full of my surprises, baby boy. Now it's time to ride. Lay back, close your eyes. Now. When we have the opportunity to come together now, it's, it's very special. I'm proud of all of them. They've, they've done a great job. And, uh, yeah, the music's there and all of that, but still, it's the fun thing and the family thing that makes it work. Like it, baby. Like it, baby. 